God, I almost just said next lawyer. Let's bring up our next lawyer. Jury, I suggest you watch and think objectively. All right. Uh, uh, our next, oh my God, Yes, is a uh, first time for me, but a huge fan of this as a performer. Please give a hand to Mr. Eric Filipkowski. So when 
you go to the bathroom, you know, you'll take a shit, and then you'll light the candle thinking like, oh, you know, it'll cover up the smell, but it'll really just make it worse. And I was thinking like the candle could be like bright orange and have pictures of oranges on it and stuff, you know, to trick me. But it would still have to be called the shit candle because of, you know, like that whole truth in advertising thing. I mean, you don't want to lie to people. Hey, do you guys like impressions? Because yeah. yeah. I hate them. <laughs> hey, what if instead of being silent, the sun made like a really annoying noise, like, you know, like a chirping or a constant, like, beep, 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 beep. Because if it did, I think things would be a little different around here, you know. <laughs> no, so I just thought I, uh, I got this friend, and he, he's, he's, a, he's a seasoned veteran of the stand up circuit. Yeah. And I asked him, and I was like, hey, should I be honest and tell people, you know, this is my first time doing this? And he's like, no, 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 definitely not, definitely not. So I think I'm going to take that advice. <laughs> oh, well. I wrote it down. I say. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes I'll wake up on laundry day, like you know, before I do laundry, and I'll blow my nose on my sheets. <laughs> I'm not proud of that. David Blaine over in England, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that guy's just great. I mean, is there anything he can't do? I think we should send him over to Afghanistan so he can find Osama bin Laden. Okay. All right, all right, I'm, I'm going to stop. <laughs> but seriously, we should send him over to Afghanistan because I fucking hate magicians. <laughs> you for like, you know, taking your burka off or dancing or something. Imagine what they're going to do if you like pull a string out of your belly button. You know? <laughs> they're going to chop your fucking head off. <laughs> that's not fair. That's not fair. Because people are people. I, I'm taking that one back. Um, uh, so I started like trying to kind of eat healthy. Um, I'm really kind of half-assed about it. Like, I'll go to McDonald's. So I'll get like the grilled chicken sandwich, and I won't get any fries, but I'll still go and get like the supersized Coke, you know, because it's like I want to eat healthy, but I still want to get diabetes. <laughs> I mean, I know that's not just me. Uh, okay, so this is something I've been wondering. So now that this whole thing is over, it's all done, which one was the Lord of the Rings? Was it the midget? <laughs> yeah, I, I kept waiting for them to reveal that. <laughs> no, I, I really want to construct an impressive looking device, like strap it to a cat, and then bring it to a party and be like, hey everybody, I invented the cat translator. And then like have me or a buddy open the corner with a microphone. And, you know, have it just, like, go up and insult people and, you know, be like, hey, lady, nice mustache, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> so then, like, really piss everyone off, and then when they're leaving, be like, no, don't leave. As soon as you leave, he's going to fuck me. <laughs> you know, that, that would probably, like, end up ruining the whole part. That's no fun. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, Oh, so I woke up and I mistook my nipples for pimples. And I, and I popped them. <laughs> Is that like from a famous poem or the Bible or something? <laughs> that sounds familiar. I'm going to have to check. I think I might have stole that one. <laughs> um, so I have this friend who's in Mensa. And everyone gives him a hard time about it. Rightly so in my book. Um, but he blames this on a... Uh, a virulent strain of anti-intellectualism in modern American society. Which is, you know, that's bullshit, you know? Just, just be honest, your club is for jerks. <laughs> I mean, would we hate these people anymore if it was like the, my penis is bigger than yours club? <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to take anything away from Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he's a real inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, um, I like songs with robot voices in them. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.